Hello and welcome to Larry Has Opinions. My vague acquaintance, Sanita Gay, tagged me in this 20 questions book tag. I haven't really prepared, so we're just going to do it off the cuff. Let's get started. How many books are too many books in a series? It really depends. I would say maybe three as a, as a general rule. But again, if you're George R.R. Martin, you could do a 15 book series if, if he actually wrote it. Um, and I'd be perfectly happy. But a lot of other authors, I think, just seem to drag things for the sake of making things longer. And I don't necessarily like that either. So let's say three. How do you feel about cliffhangers? Um, that's one of the reasons why I don't want to start any series that are not finished because I don't like being left hanging. <laughs> so I, I do want to have the next books in, in the series if, if the book finishes as a cliffhanger. So yeah, I don't, I like it as an experience as long as I can keep going. Hardcover or paperback? Ebooks. Favorite book? Oh, um, there's too many. Um, I just mentioned George R. R. Martin, so Summer of Ice and Fire, you know, it's one of my favorite series. Um, but there's a lot more than that, so. Least favorite book? Um, I don't have a lot of books that I hate. I tend to probably select the ones that I think I'm just going to hate pretty early on. But I suppose it's a good opportunity to mention The Secret again. So that's always a good choice for worst book ever. I love triangles, yes or no? I don't really care. I don't really read a lot of romance. If it's well done, sure. Um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> the most recent book that you couldn't finish. I talked about this a few times, Mrs. Dalloway, so I don't want to repeat myself too much. A book you're currently reading, uh, The Transition Baby. That's pretty cool, actually. It's the story of this sort of uh, very unusual family or wannabe family, because they're, they're not quite family yet, with... Uh, a straight woman, a transsexual woman, and a man who's previously transitioned into um, womanhood, but then is detransitioned back to be a man. It's quite entertaining, quite interesting. The last book you recommended to someone? Uh, probably To Paradise, Hanya. I really loved it, and I, I've definitely been recommended it, and will keep recommending it. Same as A Little Life. I need to read the third book that I haven't read by her, People in the Trees, which is her debut, I think. Um, so I'm hoping to read that this year at some point as well. All this book you've read, I need to check. Okay, so if I just look at my Goodreads and ignore anything that I would have like studied in school, that sort of thing, because in that case, I think there's a lot of really older stuff like um, the Odyssey, that sort of thing. But again, I wouldn't necessarily have read the whole thing in school. Um, but based on my good reads, it looks like it's Frankenstein from the 1800s, which is not even that old, but that's what it looks like. Newest book you've read, To Paradise. It only came out two days ago. I got an art from the publisher. If you have not watched my review, go take a look now. Um, so let's carry on. Favorite author. Oof, um, I have a video about my most read authors that you can go check out. I think Isaac Asimov was my most read author, um, even though I'm not sure if I would necessarily say he's my favorite. I don't know to say Ken Follett, but again, I have a few. Buying books or borrowing books? Buying ebooks, borrowing physical books. That's my preference. A book you dislike that everyone else seems to love. Well, I definitely have a few, but uh, today I guess I can mention The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Um, I just found it incredibly dull and very pretentious. Um, I know all these people say, oh, it just touched me so much. It was so scary, so moving, so this, so that. I just found it incredibly boring. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I really did not get on with it. Okay, um, bookmarks or dog years? Well, bookmarks, what sort of monster are you? Um, a book you can always reread. I don't usually reread books and I don't reread favorites. 
I'm usually too scared that I'm not going to like them <laughs> as much as the first time, so I'm going to be disappointed. So I'd rather read something new. Um, typically, when I have reread books, it was because I wanted to give them a second chance. Not necessarily books that I hated, but books that I liked but not loved. Um, and there were perhaps classics. For instance, I reread June um, because the first time I liked it, but again, didn't love it. And then the movie was coming out and I wanted to give it another go. Or I reread The Handmaid's Tales, um, which again, I liked the first time, but didn't love. And I, I know it's one of those books that you can reread and get something new the second time around. So again, uh, that's the sort of territory that I would tend to reread, not necessarily favorites. So I'm not sure if there's a book I can always reread. Can you read while hearing music? Probably not. If it's like background music, then it's fine. Or even better, if it's music that somehow um, suits the story, that would be fine. But anything that has lyrics or anything that is too distracting or too different from the story I'm reading, I'd probably rather not. Uh, one POV or multiple POV? Well, it really depends on the execution. I think as a general rule, I could say shorter books, probably safer to go with one POV. If it's like an epic series, I think multiple POVs can definitely add a lot. And I guess it can become a bit uh, boring to follow the same character over hundreds and hundreds of pages. So it depends. Do you read a book in one sitting or over multiple days? I don't think I've ever <laughs> read a book in one sitting ever. I'm quite a slow reader as well, and I, I don't mind. I know that a lot of people want to read faster. I, I don't mind it. I'm slow, and I'm okay with that. I rather enjoy and savor what I'm reading rather than just get through the whole thing as quickly as possible. A bit like eating. I mean, eating is something that we have to do, I suppose, and there are times where you just want to get something um, just quickly, eat it quickly, just for the sake of having something to eat. But it's usually much nicer to go to a restaurant or even if it's your own home and sit down and slowly savoring and enjoying what you're eating and reading is kind of the same for me. So I'd rather just take my time with it. Okay, I'm going to tag two amazing channels to do the same tag. One is Connor Stompanato and the other one is uh, Bookworm Adventure Girl. I hope you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Join our Discord. The link is in the description box. And I'll see you the next time.